Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot, your number one spot for video game playthroughs. I'm Detective Scott, and you're watching Parasite Eve. Okay, so last time we uh, got through the Chinatown sewers, we found the slime audience from Central Park. Uh, we pumped them out of the sewers to avoid the water getting infected, but the slime escaped from us before we could really do anything with it. And now we are in the Chinatown subway. So let's ex start exploring. There's a chest here. Apparently my inventory is full, which is unfortunate. So let's put a... Uh, how am I doing health-wise? Can I use a medicine? Oh, that'd be such a waste. Alright, well let's put a QRD in there then, I guess. Unfortunate. CR evade plus one. Man, that's like the third CR evade we've gotten in a short span of time. I'll go ahead and use it though. And then I'll take my QRD back. Which I'll probably just have to end up putting back in a box anyway. Um, let's see. I don't think that... that oh, by the way, that also could have been a CR evade plus two. So, I think that this is the exit, but I don't think we can go up there yet. You need a key. Okay, so yeah, we need to find the key. But that's not even our main goal here. Main goal here, really. Um, yeah, there's another two chests here. So I'll put the cure D in, see what we got. I did not mean to put the super tool in there. Range plus one. That's nifty. So I'll go ahead and use that. That could have been a range plus two as well. Use it. Abuse it. And then... Oh, we're at the Brooklyn Bridge, apparently. And we get a medicine three. So I'm going to take, get, take my super tool back. There we go. And there's yet another... Wait, that's not a chest. That's a light pole or something. But doesn't this right where uh, I is standing like kind of look like a chest? Anyway. Um, so this we can use this payphone to save. So I'll go ahead and do that, I reckon. Even though we just saved a couple minutes ago. Save. Apparently that's the sewer 2. Oh, maybe the first sewer was the Carnegie Hall sewers. But now we're in the subway, apparently. Alright, so we have two different routes we can go here. And what we want to do is actually take the West Railway, the, the tunnel here up. And I guess since the city's evacuated, we don't have to worry about any runaway trains or anything bowling Aya over. We do have to worry about a battle here. Yeah. And it's going to be another new enemy. And it's the Mole. Because apparently moles live on train tracks. Oh, jeez. I forgot I could do that. But they burrow underground, kind of like the giant South African earthworms we fought at Central Park. And we gotta keep in mind, they have a long fucking range. But they like to, like, burrow underground and then dodge your bullets, which is really annoying. So you want to kind of aim for it as soon as it raises up. I don't know if they have a pattern or what. I feel like they have another attack other than that standard slash, too, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, there is a chest here with a... what is it going to have? 30 bullets. And then on the next screen we're going to have a boss. That's right, it's a giant centipede. Or as Josh Kell would say, a scolipede. I don't know why he does... oh shit! Alright, so this thing is annoying because it can put poison on you easily. So let's use... Don't we have like an ability that keeps us from getting status elements? I guess not. So let's go ahead and use detox immediately. Yeah, so you kind of want to like stay at this thing's side. But it can still get you if you aren't careful. See, it has. if you stay in front of it, you risk getting hit by that lightning attack there. Which I just did, and apparently it also blinds you. But at least it's not doing too much damage at once. Now I have to wait. If you keep moving, you should be able to dodge the poison rain. Now I have to wait for the blindness to wear off. And it can move quickly if it wants to hit you with that lightning. As we saw a second ago. Man, centipedes are scary looking. I don't know if people are afraid of spiders, but not centipedes, which I don't really understand. And didn't Human Centipede 3 come out recently? It's like a, they made a human centipede out of like... Uh, 500 people or something. Which is disgusting. How is there more than one of those movies? 
But if I keep getting critical hits like that, we won't have to worry about it. But believe it or not, this is the easy part of the boss, because it's another two-phaser. Alright, so now we're surrounded on all sides. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cast Haste on the off chance that it might help me here. So we've got four body segments, and they just sort of rotate around, and then they do like this boomerang attack with all four pieces where they try to hit you. So I'm going to try... Yeah, see, and it puts poison on you, which sucks. Which I'm not even going to bother healing right now. Oh, wow. Those do a lot of damage. And because I was in the middle, I just took a bitch shit ton of damage. But yeah, you want to try to take out the head and the tail first, because those pieces can actually poison you. If you take those out, the two remaining body segments... Um, I shot the wrong one. How did that still hit, hit me? Okay, let's use heal three here. Should have used a medicine, honestly. I think I might do that if I need to heal again. Um, and then it's really hard to dodge until you get rid of at least one or two pieces. So, okay, the head's gone. So if I stay right here, the tail shouldn't be able to reach me. So let's start focusing on the tail so we won't get poisoned again, hopefully. But the thing is, they can rotate in any direction, so it's kind of hard to tell. Get it, tail. <laughs> Oh, it still got me. I, maybe the tail can't poison you. I could have sworn it could, though. Ow. I guess I'm wrong about that. Okay, the tail's gone, so we should be okay now. They'll probably still get a couple more hits in on me, but... Oh, well. This boss gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Not as much as... Uh, I think it was she gave me less trouble than the Spider-Woman, but still. And now I can almost always dodge at least one of their strikes. Um, so I'm going to take it out... Another one. Wow, that one was so far away that the damage done was minimal. But is it this one I've been shooting? Yeah, apparently. Alright, so I'm going to shoot this one like one more time, and then I'm going to use a medicine to try to heal. Or not. Okay, so that's it for that. And we leveled up 27. Nice. Ooh, I want all of that. I should have used one of my medicines, so I'll take... Gave me the bullets. I want the M793 grenade launcher, so I'll replace my medicine one with that. Definitely want the CR evade plus one. What do I not want here? Uh, I want to hold on to my junk if possible. So I guess I gotta get rid of a medicine. Medicine two, and then might as well replace another medicine two with medicine three. Yep, I definitely should have used the medicine before doing all that. Alright, but now that boss battle's over. Which is nice. So let's use the CR Evade that we got. And then... What else did we get? It was like, wow, we've got all kinds of guns. I need to make a trip to the weapons department pronto. Was it the M792? No. I think it was the M793. It has a special effect on it, it looks like. Add frost effect. I think that that like can temporarily stun enemies, but don't quote me on that. All right. Anyway, um, what else? We can go into this train car over here. I think. Okay, maybe not this one. Or can we? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I knew you could go into one of the train cars. This kind of reminds me of the train graveyard from uh, Final Fantasy VII. Got two chests here, so let's just go ahead and use a medicine. Wow, Aya's HP is starting to go through the roof. Ooh, another tool. Damn. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually... Um, use one of the tools. We'll transfer the... Wait, no, no. Hold on. The B Protector. Strong against status attacks. So let's see here. The B Protector has an effect that resists stiffness. And I think that's the effect that the spiders can put on you. Um, but I don't really... If it was like resist all status effects, I would be more inclined to take it. But I think we're basically past the spiders of the game. So let's put our CM Protector back on. And then we'll use our a tool to move the um, B Protector. Where is it? Oh yeah, the B Protectors, plus one defense, and plus uh, one critical over. So that 
we'll just use a tool. And that gives us the benefit of getting rid of a couple more inventory spaces as well. Oh, there's something else in here. Another tool. Wow. We're getting all kinds of tools. Uh, one of these chests could have potentially had a super tool inside it, but we're never that lucky, are we? And really, do we need super tools? Probably not. Also, no I know it's kind of late to point this out, but notice another new music track here. It's kind of annoying, though, honestly, to me. Let's head this way. So I think we are now on the Brooklyn Bridge, which is pretty neat. Is the Brooklyn Bridge really just a walking bridge, though, or are we on, like, one of the sides? This reminds me of Spider-Man uh, 1, with the scene with the Green Goblin and Mary Jane at the end. And here's a dead cop. What killed him, I wonder? But luckily, he has the subway gate key, which we can use to leave. The slime's going towards... I like that sky cityscape. The museum! Which, honestly, I don't know why they didn't go to the museum in the first place. Although, I guess we did manage to get this, the slime out of the sewers by coming here. Not that that was our goal. And, as soon as we leave this screen, that's the end of disc one. Yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but Parasite Eve was originally a two-disc game. So, I think that is going to be where I end this episode, Mitochondrians, and then... Next time, we will leave the subway, we'll head back to the weapons department to do some business there, and then we should probably have time to get the uh, Museum of Natural History dungeon started, which, believe it or not, is the final dungeon. Yeah, I know this it's a six-day game, but day five is, uh, the day six is basically just the ending. So, yeah, we're getting there. It's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, it is weird how anticlimactic the end of disc one is, especially if you played Final Fantasy or some other uh, multi-disc games. They usually try to structure it to where there's a big plot moment at the end of each disc. But, oh well. So, real, the real split here just means that there's going to be lots of FMVs over the course of the rest of the game, theoretically. Yeah, and that's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode, Mitochondrians. I'm Detective Scott. Uh, this has been Parasite Eve, and thanks for hanging out with me at the Scott Spot, your number one spot for video game playthroughs. Later, folks.